money brings in the VST power team. How are you guys doing today? Anyways, guys, this is going to be part two of a video I did back in the game next 30 days on how to securely torrent or how to browse the internet, you know, securely, anonymously. Now, some of you may be asking, why would I want to do that? Well, for whatever, whatever your reason may be, you may want to uh, not know not let other people know basically what you're trying to download or torrent or etc so whatever that reason may be I am showing you how to do that now if you haven't already please click this annotation right here to see the video part one so you can kinda get an understanding of what programs we're going to be using uh, my, as my torrenting program I'm going to be using uTorrent I'm going to be using PeerBlock as well and just any internet browser in my case Firefox that's all we need guys first things first you want to install pure block again that first video will tell you how to do everything now the first thing you want to do is um, you guys may want to do I highly recommend this is to add blocked IPs as you can see right here I'm currently blocking 1 million two hundred and one thousand my bad 1 million two hundred <sighs> sorry guys I can't count today 1 billion two hundred and one million nine hundred eighty three thousand four hundred eighty six IPs now, these are IPs that have been deemed to be uh, bad, I guess, for your torrenting experience, regardless of what you may be doing. Now, normally when you first install PureBlock, there's not going to be these many IPs. These are all added because I felt that I wanted to block those IPs from accessing my computer whenever I'm doing anything. Now, in order for you to do this, you want to click right here on List Manager, and this will give you options of what you want to block. Uh, normally pure block will give you three basic options the peer-to-peer -peer, spyware advertising these will be checked off automatically you'll also have this education one which the, depending on what you want to do you may want to block it or not regardless next you have these options here that allows you to allows you to add uh, secondary IPs which means IPs an IP list that you pick that you want to block I'll be showing you how to do that right now in order to do that you want to click on add and this page is going to come up uh, everything all the information here will be available in a second next you want to open up your browser and go to the link that I have below it's gonna to go to this website IP block list it's a really good website it gives you a bunch of lists of what you need to block or what you want to block um, then here you just basically select what you want to do what you want to block I recommend level 1 and level 2 spyware you know stuff like that basically you guys need to pick um, what you guys want to block in this clay in this case um, let's see what do I want to do let's test something real quick um, primary threats should already be in my list let me check real quick That's the wrong one. primary threat yeah, it's already there activation level one in this case let's do uh, bad peers okay you want to go back to your peer block add again description this is basically what you want to see it as I'm just gonna name it bad peers to be easy you want to, you don't want to add a file you want to add a URL in this case guys let's go bad peers is gonna be this URL when I copy it I'm gonna go back over here and I want to paste it there once you press OK it should be there and I'm also gonna uncheck education I don't really need it in my case it's going to be updating it. it's going to be downloading the certain uh, list you added it's finished we're going to close it it's going to create the list cache now the list cache is basically the programming the program adding all the lists together to make it quick and easy and reliable so when you're doing your internet internet activity it will uh, promptly uh, filter those IPs out As you can see since I took out the education I also lowered down the IP block list still pretty high though it's good now you may be thinking, well, that's all I need. I blocked all the things I don't need, correct? Wrong. Some of your governments may be also uh, monitoring your internet activity. Well, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Every government monitors your internet activity, whether you know it or not. Even here in the uh, good old U.S. of A., yes, our internet activity is monitored. Now, why? There's different reasons, uh, mainly anti-peer-to-peer, -peer, stuff like that. There's also another way you're going to be uh, blocking it. Go to this website right here. Some of you may know this. You may use it for to try to get uh, past your uh, school filters for proxying and stuff at your schools or whatever you use it for. Hide my ass. Great website. 
And the link you click is going to be this proxy list. It's going to be showing us all different kinds of proxies that you need that you could use. Specifically, IP and ports. You may be asking, well, why do I need to proxy my internet if I already bought the list? Well, for whatever reason, say a certain company or IP does get passed through, something maybe that you haven't blocked yet or that you don't know exists, they will track it down to your IP. Simple as that, then the whole DMCA, whatever could occur. And now, we're going to prevent that from happening. We're going to be doing it so in case something does come out, something does come through the wall, it will be blocked. Not necessarily blocked, but they won't know it's you. It's going to go towards this proxy. Now, we're going to go to our uTorrent. We're going to go to Options, Preferences, and here we are, General Settings. All right. Let's go down to here to connection. Now, I've go I went ahead and I blurred this out because this is the one I, I'm using. And you guys don't need to know that. You can just do whatever you want. Just go here to the, the hide my ass, the proxy list. Take one you want, any IP and the port. Go back to uTorrent. In the proxy, you paste the IP and the port. And you're all good here. Then you want to check off use proxy for host, for host name lookups and use proxy for peer-to-peer -peer connections. And then disable what you want. Bandwidth, you know, whatever your settings are. BitTorrent, here's another option. Protocol encryption. For outgoing, you want to force it. You want to force the actual outgoing uh, internet from you. In other words, anything you send out, you want it to be encrypted. So if it, even if it does get picked up, it can't be decoded exactly in what you're doing. That's basically all you need to know from here. Then you would, uh, if you change any settings, you might want to close uTorrent and restart it back up just to make sure that those settings are in place. And that's basically it, guys. Those two simple steps will really increase your total security. But remember, guys, this is not 100% foolproof. There are bugs in the program, and there are some things that you may not even be blocked, that you, and we may not even know exists. I thought they could still track you down. But remember, guys. Some protection is better than none. So if your internet security is something you really stress about, you don't want people to know what you're doing or you don't want to get any DMCA complaints from your ISP, remember guys, these steps will really increase your uh, potential security and privacy. This has been Money and Phoenix from the VST Power Team, and goodbye guys. Have a good day.